Ferrari then in front once more as the pit stop cycled round. James Collado keeping the nose in front. Massive moment and a fortunate escape. Not everybody get away with everything. Man filters Mercedes. Each of the drivers had an issue. That was the third. It picked up a puncture. And then there was another safety car period as we headed towards the dusk. Cars all putting their lights on as we officially went dark. And the safety car was for the number six Audi, which had coughed and rolled to a halt down at the bus stop. Despite the best efforts of the team shouting instructions on the radio and through the fence, they couldn't get it going. Total electrical failure. It was out of the race. Massive crowd here all weekend so far. And the beautiful weather keeping them trackside. Yeah, that and the intense racing between 60 plus GT3 cars of equal performance. Again, heading into the darkness, things start to get a little leery occasionally. And with such tight battles all the way down the field, not always. Everybody adjusting to the dark well. 9-12 once more in trouble, that time with no damage, but more loss of time. 84 Mercedes peeling out of the top three to make a pit stop. And that car, the HTP car, back in the frame with the 63 and the 55. Number seven, Bentley, stopping at the same time as the number eight car, despite having lost a lap with a problem. Number eight is Bentley's healthy car in the race, still battling for a top three finish. Pit stops heading into the night. And then drama. We had another big shunt at Eau Rouge, this time on the exit. It was the 84 Mercedes that brought out the safety car. The bronze car was out of the race. HTP's Jimmy Erickson had gone off out of fourth. The car zigging when it should have zagged in the Bailey of Eau Rouge. And he was then a passenger through Radion and into the tyres. If the action of the track wasn't enough, there was a firework display overhead and a music festival going on in the paddock down by Eau Rouge as well. There's more than enough entertainment on track. Number two Audi in the fray, coming into the pit lane for a regular stop, but heading back to the pits, the much troubled 912 got clattered by one of the McLarens and another long stop for them. Great views all the way through this circuit in any light conditions, but Eau Rouge especially dramatic at night. 55 Ferrari staying in front, the Bentley in the hunt as well as Position cycled around with the numerous pit stops and full course yellows we've had already. Pit stop strategies are starting to get strung out and very few of the leaders stopping on the same lap. Hard work for pros and ams and fans alike. Nearly 10 hours in. And you can start to see fatigue in the crews, in the drivers, in the cars and in the tyres. There is still a long way to go. At six hours, we handed out the first tranche of points, half a normal race worth. We'll hand out the next at the midway point, who will then be in the top point scoring positions. Will the 55 Ferrari, the 63 Lamborghini be there? The number eight Bentley, the number two Audi, and the number 90 Mercedes, which has led in the last hour and a half, two or three times got dive bombed by James Collado when it was held up in traffic just before the most recent safety car flurry. 88 going off into the tyres. Looks as though that car may be salvageable. We'll have to wait and see what the front end damage is, but it's lost a lot of time being recovered. As we go back to green briefly before another safety car, and then heading back to more green flag racing. It is Andrea Calderelli in the 63 Grasser Racing Lamborghini that leads the race. 55 Kaspersky Motorsport Ferrari in second. And the number eight Bentley completes the top three. Number two Audi and the 90 Mercedes along with the number one Audi all in that lead group. HTP's 85 car and the number four at Mercedes also in the fray. The leader in the Pro-Am class is now in 12th position, and that is still the number 16 Black Falcon Mercedes. Second in the class is also uh, 
uh, is uh, 17th place right behind them. That's the Aston Martin that started on the class pole. In fact, that's third in class behind the number 18 Black Falcon Mercedes. And then Spirit of Race, Ferraris and Kessel Racing all racked up there as the number seven Bentley tries to fight its way back up the order. Down into the 30s. And the car that leads in the AM class is still the 888 Kessel Racing Ferrari. That's had its share of penalties, but no mechanical problems. One mechanical problem for the 488 Rinaldi Racing Ferrari robbed that of the lead and dropped them a lap behind the class leaders. Pro class cars, black numbers on white background. Pro AM class, white numbers on back, black background and the AM class cars, white numbers on the red backgrounds. And there you go, down towards the tail of the running cars. And we have still got around 50 odd cars still running, but there are quite a few that have fallen out of contention. 84, 56, 911, 14, triple three, 58, all shown out of action. Unbelievable. How can yeah. you speak for such a long time alone? It's easy. No, not really. Lifetime is Well, hang on. You drive for such... You drive for an hour around here on your own yeah, without any instruction. Yeah, but there I'm in alone and I'm speaking to myself most of the time. And here <laughs> you're speaking to the public, but uh, they're responding to you, I think, in some social media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, but, that's nice. but they're not in the room with me and I'm not addressing 20,000 people at a time. You're in the car going, come on, second. oh, that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all this. Yeah. The way that drivers talk to each other, whether you say it out loud or whether you say it in your head, you do talk to yourself you, you in the car. Talk, you, you definitely talk to yourself, but you talk uh, really loud and yeah. you mostly speak not to yourself, but you speak to the car. Yeah. And you ask her to go faster and faster yeah. and faster. You also <laughs> ask yourself to go faster sometimes when you see that the guys are fast in a rouge, but... Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Come on, it's flat! Yeah, Come yeah. on, it's flat! You know it's flat! Yeah, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, maybe yeah. not. <laughs>